to let's attempt to do problem number nine okay so oops wrong one number nine number nine says x refers to distance v not refers to uh, v not and v rever, refers to velocity and then acceleration and t to time okay so what we want to do is we want to check the the dimensional correctness of the following equation. So the first one they give us is x is equal to velocity times time plus acceleration times um, time cubed. Then the next one is b. They want us to check the uh, velocity squared plus the velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration times time and then C a similar I'm gonna leave the the C and D for you guys to do okay so now let's check this out and see what we come up with so we said in the last one that X is a measurement of distance or length uh, velocity is length over time times time plus now what would acceleration be? Does anybody here know what that is? Is it mass over distance? It's not mass. So acceleration is how fast we go, it's the, how much we change. So if I'm going 30 miles an hour, and then I go from 30 miles an hour to 40 miles an hour in three seconds, my acceleration is 10 miles per hour per 10 seconds. So how do I say that? Could I say that it is a length, because the length doesn't really change, but it's the length over t squared? Does that make sense? If not, that's okay. We're learning, right? That's why that's why we're in class, right? If you don't know this, that's okay. Now you do. All right. So the acceleration then is always going to be length over time squared, and then t cubed is just going to be t cubed. So I have a length. My t's will cancel, so that gives me a length. All right. I'm doing good so far. But wait a minute, I have three T's on the top, two on the bottom. So I end up left with an LT. Is that dimensionally correct? No, it is not. Okay. Let's do the next one and see if it's dimensionally correct. Um, what did we say velocity was? It's length over time squared. And I have another length over time squared. And then plus two times. Do I need to write down the two? Not really. Right? Because we're just checking the dimensions. Do I care if it's two feet or three feet, or can it just be feet? Yeah, so we don't need to write down the two. We can kind of ignore it. But with the acceleration, we know for a fact, L T squared, and then we have just a T. Is that right? Mm -hmm. OK. So this would be L T squared good. Then we have another LT squared, good. And then over here we have, well this T cancels with this, L over T squared. Is that the same? No, I don't, I don't have anything here, do I? 
not correct. Well, A isn't dimensionally correct. B isn't dimensionally correct. Do you guys want to try C and D? Yeah. All right, let's see. You guys are curious now. Flip the page over. Uh, C is X is equal to A times T plus velocity times time squared. That's C. And then D is going to be the velocity squared equals V naught squared plus 2AX. All right, let's see where we're at with this. Um, X is what? Length. And then A is length over time times time. And then velocity is what? Oh wait, I wrote that down wrong. Is the acceleration length over time? No. What is it? L over T squared. L over T squared, right? Let's erase that and make it a little nicer to read. So it's L over T squared times T. And then over here I have L over T for my velocity times T squared. So I have length is equal to one of these T's will cancel with one of these. So I have L over T plus L over, oh no, LT. Does, does that seem like it would equal? Yeah, it doesn't. So we're going to say nope. Not dimensionally correct. Whew, that's a lot of work. None of them have worked out so far. I feel pretty confident about this last one. Velocity is what? Length over time. Velocity, this is another velocity. It's the initial velocity. All right, good. Now, what does all this stuff write, that I'm going to write in, what does that have to look like for this to be dimensionally correct? Yeah, the quantity L over T, all of that squared. So, Two, we don't care about. We could toss it out. But the acceleration is length, right, over t squared. And then x is a length. So we have L over t squared is equal to another length over time squared plus what's L times L? L squared. L squared over t squared. Is that the same? Yeah. Yes. Dimensionally correct. So now if we in our homework chose the first three, three equations, we could plug in a bunch of numbers. We'll get a number. If I give you a velocity and an acceleration and a time and all that stuff and you plugged it in here, you'll get a number answer. But is it right? No. no. But if I give you similar values and plug it into this equation, you'll get a number. Is that a good answer? Well, we think so, right? We think so. It's, this is definitely not good, right?